Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Wednesday, so it's what you're working on Wednesday. <laughs> I just got done filming a mail haul, shopping haul video, so yeah. And my big giant thing of batting is like barely propped up, so I might fall. So if you hear a loud plasticky noise, it's that falling. But anyways, today I'm working on my test pattern. I'm working on it for Crystal at Chronically Crocheting. She is putting out uh, this really cute cat pattern. It's a big giant cat and she asked me to be one of her testers. So I am working on it. I'm going to get it done today. That's my goal is to get it done today. I got to reshape it because I accidentally like squished him walking in here. So I just really it. My hair is crazy. Just calm down there. Okay. So here's the body. <laughs> I used a black fiber fill and it's kind of way different texture than regular fiber fill. So like when you squeeze it, it stays kind of indented. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm almost out of black fiber fill. It was gifted to me a while ago. I think in 2019. And I've been using it very like carefully because I didn't want to run out. And only, I'll try to only use it on things that need dark fiber fill. But anyways, this is the body <laughs> of the cat. This is made with, I love this yarn, Chunky. The color is called Plumberry, I think. I used about one and a half skeins for the body. They're 109 yards each. This is what? The ball is so it's a different color obviously but uh i really love i love this yarn chunky it's really nice and it's so soft stay up there but yeah so that's the um body and i still have a little scrap ball left of this color and because i only had two uh balls of this i don't have enough to make the rest of the body with the same color so i, I found a color that was kind of matching with it but um and i looked at hobby lobby today and this color was sold out they didn't have any they didn't have any dark colors except they had some black and one ball of like a dark blue. But so for the tail, the ears, and the little muzzle, I'm using, I'm holding two strands together of, I love this yarn, charcoal. Because I thought this dark gray would go good with the purple. Um, I don't know if anyone's going to want to buy this, but I'm going to put it in the shop and see what happens. But these are the, the outer part of the ears. I still have to crochet the inner part of the ears with just worsted weight yarn. You make it with smaller yarn. And then also have the tail done that'll wrap around the little body look at that it goes in the back and then kind of wraps around to the side again i didn't have any chunky so um yeah there's the tail <laughs> so i gotta make the uh the inner part of the ear and the muzzle i think i had the muzzle started i think i started it i left it in there though but um and then sew the muzzle on sew the ears on the inner ears the tail and then the last thing I have to do is stitch on the nose to the muzzle. And I gotta make eyes because I don't have any safety eyes the size that this needs. So I'm gonna crochet eyes. And I'm just gonna make cute little crochet eyes and stick on there. I don't like how lumpy this is. I don't know if anyone's gonna want this one. I might have to keep this one for myself. <laughs> but um, yeah, he'll look cuter once he's all together. Right now he's just like a weird shaped blob. <laughs> But yeah, that's what I'm working on today. And I'm going to get him finished today. That's my goal is to get that cat finished today. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys are working on. And feel free to leave any links or anything to YouTube channels or videos or whatever. <laughs> and uh, let us all know what you guys are working on. But I do, uh, today when I went to Hobby Lobby, I bought some yarn to make another one of those cats. Because I wanted to make another one. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. So I got the same yarn as I love to Chucky. And the colors that I got was um, Sand Forest, Sand Frost. It's like a off-white cream color. This is going to be for the body of the cat. And then for the tail, the ears, and the muzzle, I got, um, where is it? Warm blush. It's a really pretty, um, dusty pink color. I thought that would be cute. This cat will for sure go in the Etsy shop. I don't know about this lumpy one. <laughs> so if anyone wants a lumpy cat, a big purple lumpy cat. I just, I don't know. I like the idea of black fiber fill to go for dark things like this. But this one has such a weird texture. Like, I can't even explain it. Like, even when you're just holding it and, like, pulling it apart to fluff it, it feels different. It sticks. It's, like, when you... It's kind of, like... I'm trying to think of something. You know, like, white fiber fill, if you squeeze it and then let go of it, it fluffs back to its shape. This black kind, of, if you squeeze it, it kind of sticks together and gets, like, dense. So, um... That makes it lumpier. It doesn't hold, like, the fluffy shape that, like, white regular fiber, fiber fill does. So, I don't know. I don't know how I felt that. But, I do love this cat body. I can't wait to get it all together. And I will show it to you guys when it gets done. Eventually. <laughs> Not on this video. Because this video is going to go up now. And then I will 
work on that cat. And then hopefully this next cat will be a whip in the next No Catch Your Name episode. So that'll be fun. But yeah, so leave me a uh, comment down below on what you guys are working on. Because I love seeing other people's projects, ideas, because I like to, you know, get ideas and then make new stuff. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.